This is Gamer Extreme. Games prepare to be reviewed. This is my review of the Nintendo game The Conduit, which is supposed to it's called the Halo Killer, which is supposed to be a lot better online and single player. First off with the graphics, amazing graphics for the Wii. It uses the Quantum 3 engine, I believe, which is an engine built for the Wii to simulate the the type of resolution used on the Xbox 60. And it does very well at this. I can't capture the amazing quality of this game through the film. I honestly, when I heard that they're going to try to have a Wii game look like a 360 game, I I kind of laughed at it because there's no way it could look nearly as good as a 360 game, but I had to eat my words and was proven wrong. It looks very, very well, very well done. It's very good. Um, people are complaining that it's very generic, which, in my opinion, all first-person shooters are all the same. Yet, you play them for the story, and I play them most importantly for the different types of guns you can use. And you do have some, they do have some very unique guns on this game. The multiplayer is very well done. It's, the Conduit is one of only two Wii exclusive online multiplayer first person shooter games. The other being Metal of Honor Heroes 2. Call it the um, Treyarch release a watered down cut version of Call of Duty World at War with a lot of extra features cut. But this is the first game built this for the Wii with online multi well the second is counting the Metal of Honor Heroes 2. Both games do it well. This one do, does it in my opinion a lot better than Heroes 2. And it's a very different type of online multiplayer. The closest thing it would be to would be Halo. But it It also use, it utilizes an, an achievement system, which is very interesting because most Wii games don't use them. Metal of Honor Heroes 2, um, Metroid Prime uses it, has some achievements, but for the most part, most Wii games, they just have whatever. Well, they have <coughs> um, specials on here, too. And the, it does have really good replay value. Um, the story-wise, once you play the game, you know the story. There's no point in going back to go through the story again. Not the best story, but it's a lot better than most Wii game stories. Or Wii exclusive game storyline. Um, in my opinion, at least. But there are some really good Wii games with good stories. The controls are very good on this. Um, I keep going, shifting my mind back and forth. Um, back to the story again. Good story, not the best. Um, very, a lot of twists and turns. I actually think it's pretty good. A lot of people hate it. Um, I don't know why. It is a generic -ish story. But there are some twists in it which have not been done, to my knowledge. And I've watched probably more movies and played more games than anyone else will be combined. That's all I did in my childhood was watch movies and play games. I had no friends. It is an amazing first person shooter for the Wii. Like nothing else you'll ever play. The controls are amazing. It feels so good. And it's so easy to get used to. Um, you might have to work on the sensitivity, but you can customize anything you want on this game. 
fully customizable. This has the um, creators that have described. It's a lot like a PC game where you can customize all the controls to what you want. There's about 18 weapons, and I think there's 18 weapons counting um, unlockable. Very good unlockable weapons, three of them, which are really, really good unlockable weapons. They're very powerful. Once you complete the game, you can replay the game and not worry about having to waste ammo because you can shoot them by once and they die. If you kill a thousand people in the game, you get stopping power. I mean, fully stocked where you never run out. You can never run out of bullets. Well, you can, but you always have infinite reloads. As in the regular story, if you run out of bullets, you have to go around looking for more magazines. Um, pretty good game. Probably one of the, probably the best Wii game then. Wii exclusive game. In my opinion, it still can't top the Force Unleashed. So I still consider that one of the best games I have on the Wii. But this is, this is definitely the best first person shooter I've ever played. Certainly doesn't get as redundant as Halo. Story-wise and multiplayer-wise, the bosses on here are not hard, but they take a long time to kill. Um, they have very well, and very good environment. Hardness of the game, um, I played it on easy mode, and it took me about five and a half hours to complete. Um, but there is the multiplayer, which is infinite play that until you die and it's really good multiplayer it took me a while to get used to it I liked it from the get go but it took me a while to get used to it and I didn't like the controls at first but once you get used to it it's pretty good it has very unique controls and very unique weapons disintegrate people at times you can turn the beam by turning the remote which I think that's a pretty cool feature great um, clips and stuff there's not a whole lot of clips they said they really don't want to register they really don't like it when people complain about there being too much story and not enough gameplay so they cut on the, down on the story and mainly had gameplay and multiplayer which people complained about because people can all, will always complain until the day they die. This is Gamer Extreme and this has been a review of the conduit for the Wii which I give a 9 point you know what I give it a 10 out of 10. All the flaws sticking up there are very few flaws it's not enough to take it to an iPhone 5. I give it a 10.